hello and welcome back so this is going to be a very quick video basically I just want uh, in the last video we talked about that I want to install Linux uh, Kali for uh, the EGPT then we got busy and I was drifted apart uh, schedule change and all that uh, now I want to start the Kali Linux again and get going so this video is not about installing Kali uh, this is about checking the uh, hash uh, it that's pro proves the integrity I was going through this um, introduction and then uh, something caught my eye and I was like I should make a video if uh, because I didn't know how to check that I had to search I went to another web page and uh, search uh, how to check uh, uh, these uh, hashes so I was like if I don't know there must be a ton of people out there that don't know not meaning that I know a lot uh, but this is one of the question I have or had and I want other people to have this answer as well so it was somewhere here downloading ah, security <clears throat> so you can see you have to check the 256 sum and basically what you do is you download uh, run this checksum on Kali download uh, did file and compare the two hashes so let's see I haven't done this uh, yet so uh, this is the first time I will be doing it uh, I have to download Get Kali. Let's install. Uh, open it in another window. I want to download this one, Virtual Machine one. There are a ton up there out there, and I'm gonna get the one for Virtual Box. I believe I. Sh uh, I have Virtual Box, but uh, I'm gonna try to install it with the uh, Hyper-V. So it's downloading you can see the speed is 40 something megabytes per second I'm gonna pause the video here and let it download all right so you can see it's downloaded the download is complete and now I have to just get this 256 uh, sum uh, before we go ahead and run that uh, let me open the CMD and go to the directory all right so I am in the Kali Linux directory I have uh, it was uh, like a GZ file I unzipped it and traversed to the directory now we're gonna just uh, run the M M uh, the hash checksum the hash utility is built in into command line or into Windows so all you have to do is write uh, you can see dir i have the file right here uh, this one so what i have to do is type cert util hash file and the name kali if i press tab it should uh, give me the full name and then sha 256 and i have a failure meaning something is not right sir do you do let's find that uh, how do we check so, 256 check some windows and <clears throat> see this is the utility that's not what we want I went over here somewhere and here it is so basically that's the command cert you cert you do hash file hmm interesting so my command is correct
Let's make it a bigger and see what's going on. Every, oh, there's not a space. And it's working. It's thinking. That's what I <laughs> love to call. And I have the check sum here, right here. What I'm going to do is to compare it easily. I'm not going to go back and forth. I'm going to open a notepad. I'm going to copy this check sum. <clears throat> let's bring the notepad here second line let's get the checksum from here and uh, right off the bat it's not the right one you can see so there is something that's not right <clears throat> then we can do one more thing I'm gonna pause the video here for just one second Okay, so I'm tra I traverse the directory and I'm gonna do the checksum on the actual uh, zip file and see if uh, that's the one needed to be run this checksum on. Again, something is not right. SHA256 dot GZ probably. Uh, the file name had a dot gz at the end so let's dot gz okay not the right thing i'm gonna go i'm gonna pause the video here i all right so i now i know what the issue was it's not gz it's 7z uh let's try one more time set util dash hash file then Kali tab dot 7z and sha 256 that's a good sign it's thinking i hope it started with ef64 and we have ef64 just to be sure uh actually not to be sure i'm um, make it a habit this is the easiest way of doing it in a not notepad there are um, I forgot the util utility name basically um, it has two fields uh, what it looks like is like this so uh, there is one field here on this side then there is a line in the middle and there is another text uh, entering field on the right side so basically you can put text on the left side and you can put text in the right side it will compare and tell you uh, where the differences are so it's extremely useful for um, coding uh, programming like uh, be either the web page code or the actual like software code I love that thing uh, but unfortunately uh, I that name slipped out of my mind uh, all right so if you, if you can see it's exactly the same so the Kali we downloaded is the uh, genuine Kali I'm gonna wrap this video here if this video um, has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and I'll see you in the next one